Getting things to fit properly starts with getting to know how your body differs from the standard or from the norm or however you want to refer to it, but how your body isn't like the shop-bought patterns. So for instance, for me, I find I am reasonable, I find the distance between my shoulders and my bust is slightly longer, so I have to lower my dart points, but I also find um, that my waist and my hips are slightly longer as well. So a standard distance between waist and hip is somewhere between seven and eight inches. These days it tends to err more on the eight inches mark. But mine sits at about nine inches. So for me, when I'm looking at things like trousers or jumpsuits particularly, I just don't have enough body rise. Now body rise is the distance between your waist and your crotch. And standardly, it sits somewhere around that 28 centimetre mark. So if you have a slightly longer distance there, then you are going to find the same thing as me, that things aren't hitting you on the waist if they're trousers, um, you can't get them up high enough. Or with jumpsuits, that they are permanently um, a little hungry in the bum, as it's quite often referred to. So what I'm going to show you today is how you would make those adjustments, not just to a pattern before you start, but also to a garment once you've already made it. Because... That's what more often than not happens, is that you make a garment up, you go to try it on, and suddenly it's not comfortable, it's not sitting right, you feel like you've got a bit of a wedgie going on, and that's the one we wanna drop. We don't wanna give up on that garment at all, we wanna make it work. So we're gonna make that adjustment um, to lower that crotch level so that we've got a little bit more distance in the body rise so that things get a little bit comfier. I'm gonna show you how we make the adjustment for the longer torso by dropping this hip line on the pattern first and then I will show you on a an already made garment how I would make that adjustment there because I think that second bit will make more sense once you've seen me looking at it on the pattern. So here is the pattern for the exact jumpsuit that I am going to be adjusting and you can see they've marked on here the waistline and then we've got the hips marked around about here-ish by these um, tailor's tack markings. And then they've even marked on the crotch line. Now what we're talking about is um, referred to as two in two different ways. Firstly, by body rise. And body rise is the distance between your waist and the crotch. So it's this length here. The other thing that I refer to quite a lot, which I think is relevant when you're considering your body rise is the distance between your waist and your hips. Now, traditionally speaking, that is always somewhere between seven and eight inches. So let me, so on this one, you can see if I take it from the waistline down to where this marking is here, we're looking at eight inches. So if the distance between your waist and your hips is longer than eight inches, this is where you're going to need to spread this out and make this bigger. And you'll be doing everything on the front and the back exactly the same so that they still fit together. So we're first going to be slicing across the middle of this one about here. As tempting as it may feel to just add an inch on the top here on the waist, what you're gonna find is if you can see, we've got some shaping coming in here and we don't wanna be adjusting that. We want that to sit where it is at the moment. We just wanna lower this hip line down. Now, if you're working on a jumpsuit where the whole thing is all in one, you wouldn't even have this option at all. But for things like trousers or um, waist seamed jumpsuits, this is how you would do it. So we're gonna slice across the middle here like so. And then I'm going to cut it. Now, in the opposite direction, if you are short torsoed or you've got a, a shorter body rise, you will need to shrink this. This is much easier to do because instead of cutting it, you're just going to fold up in the exact same location. On some patterns, they will have a lengthen or shorten here line, and this is exactly what that line there is for. It's not for making your legs longer. It's for increasing that body rise and making allowing for a longer crotch depth um, if your waist and your hips are slightly further than eight inches apart. So I know that mine is, I have uh, nine inches between my waist and my hips, so I need to add in an inch here. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab some paper and tape this edge to some paper ready to add the other piece in. Now, it doesn't need to be a specific type of paper. Sometimes if you've got some of this uh, pattern tissue paper left over that you've cut off from around the edge, you can use some of that. It just needs to be wide enough to go the whole way across. 
So I'm going to tape that down. And then I'm going to measure up my inch that I want to add in all the way across the middle. Mark that with a line. And then that is where I'm going to tape my next piece onto, making sure to keep things lined up here, down the side here, and also down the side here. So we shall tape that on. I'm using a smaller piece of tape just to give myself a bit more scope to get this right. I do find masking tape is easier to handle than sellotape for things like this because you can peel it off without absolutely ripping what's underneath. And now I have increased my distance between my waist and my hips and I have increased the body rise. So I will repeat this process with my front and then my pattern is good to go for next time I want to use it to make sure that this is going to fit me. But more often than not, this problem occurs and you don't spot it until you have made the garment up and you go to try it on. With Doing these things more often and making more of these things, you will start to learn how your body differs from the norm. So you will start to establish if you are long between your waist and the hips, or maybe you are short or long between your waist and your bust, or your bust sits a little bit lower, so you're needing to move the darts. You'll learn how your body fits with the standard that is produced, and you can, you'll can you know to make those changes before you go anywhere. But sometimes you will forget and then you will need to take something like this and lengthen it in the crotch. Now it's much easier, sounds odd, to lengthen it here than it is to shorten it. So you can see this is the distance we were looking at. This is where the body rises. So it's all the way around here and then it's going up into the crotch line. And what we want to do is we want to drop that down. So we're going to mark it ready to sew. So I'm going to fold it like this so that you can see how this crotch line works. Now with this method you do need to make sure you've got enough width in your leg. If it's already tight on your um, thighs you're going to find this might make it a little bit tighter. So in that case always tack it first so that you can try it on. Now I know that these need a good inch so I am going to mark my inch here and then all we're going to do is smooth that curve back in so that we're running it straight down here and then curving it to meet where I have marked. And that is the line I am going to follow. So hopefully you can see where I have marked that on. I'm joining it all the way up here. And that's how you, where you can see things get slightly narrower here. So you need to make sure you've got enough width but it's gonna give you that drop and stop your crotch from feeling too short. So then all I'm gonna do is tuck one of my legs inside the other one, reach up, pull that leg through. So it's just like when you originally sewed the crotch. I am going to pop a pin where my two inner seams meet. I want them to still be on top of each other once I've gone round. And you see, I'm gonna be following that line and I need to then mark on the other side in exactly the same way. So I'm gonna be joining it all the way up here, taking it across, following, giving myself a nice line to follow. So I will go and stitch that and show you how it looks. So here it is sewn in. And when it's laid out like this and you get to be able to see that body rise, you can see how much that has dropped that crotch line for. So it's gonna sit much better. Now this is when I would always recommend trying it on before cutting away any of this excess, just to make sure they still fit and you're happy with it. Um, and if you need to drip or drop it any lower, um, bear in mind this, doing this adjustment will adjust your inside leg measurement that will become slightly shorter which is fine with these because I have, I'm wearing them slightly cropped, which is no problem at all. And there we have a nice little 
lowering of the crotch to increase the distance in your body rise so that it fits better. Hopefully that's going to help rescue a few garments for you and they don't have to all be ones you've made. It might be that you've got a few shop-bought jumpsuits as well that aren't fitting quite right at all. But if you give your body a measure and see how your body compares to the standard, you will start to get a, an idea before you start projects as to the changes you need to make and then that'll make the whole thing so much easier. <laughs>